like a hell cut. Hey guys, welcome to the 20th episode of my Minecraft slide on not Minecraft. Um, my Terraria Let's Play, uh, Trophy Hunter series, and in the next episode we're going to be trying out a new setup. So as you can see, I've got a new set of armor on. It's the Spectre armor. It gives me quite a bit more than less, uh, quite a bit less defense. But actually, if I switch some of this stuff out, that is still the same defense, but only th only 38 defense this time. But if we we're going to be using these. These are like the magic weapons we've got. I got this in the Moon Lords. This is like one of the best, um, one of the best, what magic weapons in the game. And we're going to be seeing what we can do with that. And we're going to be seeing if we, how how quickly we can defeat the Moon Lord. I guess maybe. And that should give you just a little taste of how powerful the last prism actually is. So that's why I have to go on a bit of a reforging spree to be honest because I need uh, to get some good modifiers on my like warding on all my accessories so I can get better and more defense but yeah so we're gonna make our way over to the dungeon and we're just gonna test out our new setup on the uh, lunatic cultist and as you can see also our setup heals us so every bit of damage we do will heal us which makes it quite OP as well So it does take us quite a while to get over there. Once we do get over there, we'll uh, have this fight, I think. Right, let's check what the defense is on this. So it's 6, 14 and 10. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, let's see. Uh, no, it's taking quite a while to go over there, but we should be there soon now. I see everyone we trying to take up the lunatic, the lunatic cultist with the new setup. See how long it takes us. I'm ta I've taken off the dragon because I want to see how much damage we can really do with this setup. So yeah. Odd. Right, so as you can see, he does with quite a lot of damage. Let's uh, back up a bit. Oh, we actually got him this time. Well, that didn't go so well, did it? Maybe if we reforge some of our items with some of our accessories to get some more defense, maybe, uh, maybe don't stand still so much, maybe that'll help us. So I'll see you once I've done some reforging and we're ready to face him again. How many potions are they? Oh, we use quite a lot of potions there. So yeah, I'll see you once we are ready to face it, face the Lunatic Cultist again. Okay, we're back, guys, and I was just about, I was just seeing how fast I could take out the Plant Terror. So uh, yeah, let's uh, do this. Uh, I actually started the fight, so maybe we could. Uh, 
maybe I can find another, I might be able to find another plant terrible for us. There we go, that was her taken out. That was uh, relatively easy, to be honest. It's just all these uh, other mobs are really annoying. I mean, what? I mean, look how powerful this looks. This looks well powerful. Right, well, I'm gonna get on with uh, powering myself up, and I'll see you once I am actually at the desert temple. Uh, the, um, the temple, not temple, the the dungeon this time okay so i'll see you then okay guys we're back and we are back at the dungeon as you can see so we're back to kill the cultists and get ready for the lunatic cultist oh no not oh well actually actually wait where's, where's the last guy i should be like what why is this still here they're not here Well, it looks like we won't be able to do the whole test then, until like maybe the next night or something. Or next day maybe. So yeah. Well, that was a bit of uh, bad, bad timing I guess. Well, I'll see you once we are actually ready to do the cultist. See you then. Okay guys, we're back and we are about to start the fight of the Lunatic Cultist, so let's do this. As you can see, the last prism doing an absolute massive amount of damage when switching to the Nebula Arcanum when I need to heal. And there you go, that is him defeated. And I instantly get destroyed, of course. I think to do the the pillars, I might switch back to my old loadout. So I had Terra Blade. Solar eruption and roof, uh, the possessed hatcher, and then that's fine. And there we go, 93 defense now. So, which ones are around? Okay, so this one is the Stardust, I think. Nebula, and there's ne the two hardest ones are on that side, so I might face them first so I have more health when I'm up against the Moon Lord. So you guys have seen me go up against these things before, so you probably don't want to, want, want to actually do it all over again, so I'll cut back once I'm ready to face off the, with the Moon Lord, so I'll see you then. Technical difficulties as usual. Right, I need a charging lead.
there we go, that's better. Okay, so let's get on with this, shall we? I'll see you once I've finished. Okay, guys, we're back, and we are uh, actually about to do, about about to meet the moon lord. So we're actually about to get back. But yeah, so this time, oh, I should have I should have got rid of the Stardust Dragon, shouldn't I? To be honest, but yeah. And actually, where is my pickaxe? They're right here. Let's uh, mine that, shall we? So we don't accidentally trigger that. Uh, do we really? Uh, I guess it may help, just in case. I guess. And now we have to wait for him to spawn in. So as you can see now, when I run over it, it does absolutely nothing. And here he is. We're doing decent damage, I would say. I'll have to take a heal now, just in case. I should stop hitting that hand now, shouldn't I? I'm going to make... Oh, well, okay. Scratch that, the dragon's kicking out. I'm guessing that one's about to go as well, or not. Hey, well, this, this, this fight isn't too bad so far. Right, nurse, come here, Nijo. What are you doing? Might as well do that. There we go again. So you know what to try and heal when you get about around half health, so right now. Actually, I was zero point doing that one there, but yeah, okay, well, we did it. So yeah, if you use this tactic with the nurse, I know it's a bit cheesing it a bit, but if you do it, it uh, makes the mood on the fight a lot easier, and then once you're more powerful, you can take him out properly. Okay, right, it's about to open up the core, I think. There we go. Oh, no, no. 
That was close, I think. Right, thanks dude. There we go. There we go. Oh, that got very close there. I don't like that, but yeah. Almost there, come on. Almost done. And he is. Come on. And he's dead again. So yeah, that doesn't take too long, I guess. But hopefully we get something good, decent from him this time. I mean, the, um, the last person is a very decent weapon, but hopefully we get something melee related. Yes, we got Star Wrath, which is one of the better melee weapons, I'll just show you. Uh, where's the pressure plate? It's right here. There we go, and this is the Star Wrath. It is arguably one of the better weapons, melee weapons in the game, and I, I prefer to go for the melee weapons, so yeah. I don't want Blink Root. Blink Root is a waste of my time. And there we go, the Star Wrath. I'll show you 144 damage already, which is which is very nice, but I'll show you as well. There we go. 140, 244, so it's a slight upgrade, and it causes stars to rain from the sky, so watch. There you go. And this should help us with the Moon Lord next time we want to defeat him. I think I might uh, organise my inventory and then we might, we might go after the Moon Lord again. So yeah, most of this stuff now is just um, killing the Moon Lord and actually, hang on. So I get the Luminite, Luminite. Check up here, start quickly. Oh no, we didn't pick it up, unfortunately. Uh, accidentally, not unfortunately. There we go, here. So, this is the luminite we needed. Oh, why'd I do that? Okay, that was just stupid. Okay, so now let's go down and uh, craft the last bit of the armor. So the Illuminite. How much did we get? Is it enough to make the armor? Oh, we don't have it even have it in our we don't even have it in our inventory, so it can't be enough to have it. Uh, we wouldn't know. Yeah, I think it is. Right, so the last piece of the solar flare armor is now ours. Nice. Right, so let's go and see if we can find the rest of the solar flare armor. Let's just quickly deposit a bunch of this stuff in here. Okay, well that's filled up right there. Aha, here is the rest of the solar flare armor. In fact, let's take out these fragments as well. So we have 71 of these ones. And 20. Oh, we, 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 have, we have enough to, to make another a celestial sigil which will spontaneously spawn the Moon Lord. I just get the rest of the fragments out from here. Yeah, that should be good. Okay then, I believe this can be deposited back in here. Uh, we can probably just trash a bunch of this stuff to be honest. We don't need any rockets. Ok, 
okay then, so we can deposit all these magic weapons, all these magic weapons away. Um, I guess we don't need any of these at the moment, and we've got too many, an over an abundance of these health potions. We don't need any of. Oh no, we do want those health potions. We don't want the other health potions, is what I meant. So it's these health potions I meant to put away in the trash. I think we just got my inventory. We can press square to quick move everything. Okay, now let's equip this armor. And there we go. We're now up to 98 defense. Uh, might as well put the beast llama away, we're never going to use it again. Alright, so what we're looking for now is the Meowmir, which is uh, a 9 cat themed weapon. And you'll see what I mean if I get it, or when I get it, sorry. So... I do not need this clock. There we go, that is everything sorted out. So now let's go to the ancient manipulator. Uh, let me just check with the guide something quickly first actually. I want to, I want to try and make some solar flare wings. I want to see... How I do that. Oh, the traveling merchant has arrived. He could be. Oh, well, oh, he could be saying what I want. So let's uh, quickly go and have a look at, at him as well. Okay, so I had a sort of left pickaxe. We need ten luminite for that, though. Um, what else? Wings. We need ten luminite as well. So we're gonna have to defeat the moon lord again for that. So how many? Uh, how many fragments do we need? Fourteen. Uh, 41 and for the pickaxe 12 now we won't have enough so let's just craft the sigil and then we can start the lunar event again if we if needed so let's go over here and craft the sigil there we go so depending on what class you you you, you are, so like ranged magic and so on, you go for different ranged magic summoner or uh, melee of course. You go for different different weapons. I've I, I prefer the melee weapons here, so I've gone I've gone for the melee. But you could go for any, any, anything in the class, anything, any class, and probably still wreck the Moon Lord. Okay, then, so let's uh, get on with another Moon Lord fight, shall we? There we go. In fact, I can just get bot home. There we go. Right, let's let's get on with this, shall we? Oh, why did I spawn in the Stellar Dragon? I keep on forgetting that I don't want to spawn him in. Here we go, another attempt, and might, hopefully another success. To be honest, oh, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't pick up those. So.
no, wait, hang on. Maybe we just might not have that great pressure plate quick, please, if we don't accidentally. Might as well get rid of this hand, if we can. Hey, that's the first hand gone. And here comes the second hand, I think. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet, I'm just, I am still concentrating for these fights. It's not like I'm that OP that I don't have to concentrate. As you can see, the solar flam is doing a massive help with my with the extra defense and stuff, so yeah. One, stop moving about, please, no. Hey, I think the, the, uh, the top high is always done now, so. Yeah, it's almost done down now, so we should be getting on to the hard, um, the bottom of the core soon. Heal up, and the course should be opening any time now, or no, next time. Might as well heal up there. You don't, see, with this one you don't want to leave it too late, you could end up fading and then, and then, and then it's like, you rush and you're like, more likely to fail, and you're, if you're more likely to fail, then you're, then you're going to die. Well, you're basically more likely to die if you uh, if you do it too late. Come on, just take it out. To be honest, I just could have my probably could have my uh, have my my cursor over the hit over the nurse the whole time. I'm gonna start a dragon with dual or what? I mean, there isn't much dodging involved in this, so it's not too much skill based, but yeah. And it will cost you quite a bit of money as well, but yeah. I might run over here now since it's over here. Come on, we're so close. And we're so close, come on. And it has like under 5,000 health.
we don't want to die now. Almost forgot to do the. Oh, oh well, well, it didn't really matter. We, we probably would have survived, but that's another time. Second time in one episode, I think. Maybe third. Can't remember. What did we get? Oh, we got the trophy. Nice. Right, let's put the. Oh, that's, that's really good. Now we've got the trophy for that, so now we're going to farm out the Moon Lord when we need the trophies. Oh, we've got another last prison. Oh, it's a slightly better one. Okay. Actually, let's put up the trophy. If, we, if it fits, we can put up the trophy in here. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. really work out for this, it just shoots yellow ones every time, so yeah. Anyway, uh, I will sort out my inventory, I'll uh, go to the Lunatic Colcist and we'll be um, ready to defeat the uh, Celestial Pillars again, I think. So, um, uh, let's see what this guy has first. So yeah, I will see if I can find, uh, see it, or see if the, the, the um, the cultist is there and do the celestial pillars and try and summon the moon lord again. So I'll see you once I once I'm ready to do that. See you then. Hey guys, change of plan. We're actually going to end the video here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please just subscribe and leave a like if you liked this video of course. And I'll see you in the next episode. See you then.